Hello, today's episode of Shite on Location comes from the city of Bath. Hello. Today we are here to talk about poetry. My favorite type of poetry is made of chocolate. Hello. Today I'm in Bath and I'm going to read a poem now from Roller Coaster. It's the 10th anniversary of me releasing this book, so I'm going to read a poem called Peace Treaty. Hold your fire, please don't shoot. Let's call it quits and split the loot. No need to fight, no need to scare. Hands off my wardrobe, cut and tear. No, don't you try it, you must be stopped. In the skit my clothes you popped. Or two can play that game as well. Rare vinyl beetle records sell. My lovely trinkets light so much. Were my possessions, do not touch. Shall I hold your mother up for ransom? Remember when you found me handsome? But your views have changed, you've changed your ways. Hope your change of mind it pays. No need to fight, can do this gentle. But yes, psychopathic, completely mental. So choose your weapons, come fight with me. Peace treaty broken, World War Three. I got a great idea. Look, I thought, yeah, it's like a space. Um, in, in like Trafalgar Square and stuff, they have like prints that famous things sort of stand on. And I think it's about time that the, the Yetis had a, a printy thing. So I'm going to stand there and then until some other Yetis come, we can all take turns you know, for the Yeti name. And yeah, and I'm a, I'm a Yeti poet, so. You don't have to watch me, we can come back to this later. Oh, come in here. This is where Yetis live. <laughs> come on, it's gonna be great fun. Come on. It's almost spring. By the time this is posted, it probably will be spring, but at this very moment, I'm, I'm invoking spring. So yes, I'm going to do a Yeti dance to celebrate. This is a piece called Petrified. We're waxworks watching, watching works well for works of art such as we. And as strangers eyes observe, we stare straight back, pleading. You think we don't understand, but the layer of wax is only thin. Have you never considered what lies within? The wax covers us, but underneath we're just like you, kept alive through tubes, petrified. If you look closely, sometimes you'll see our eyes move, sometimes blinking. Look closer, but not too close, or he might catch you too, and then you'll end up like us. Petrified, kidnapped from the streets to fill the waxwork halls, missing persons with new wax faces. We're waxworks watching, watching works well for works of art such as we. Ah. Well, um, I was saying earlier we should go into this Yeti cave because it's where Yetis find their muse. This is where I get all my ideas from, from deep dark caverns. Sounds strange when I say it like that, but come on. Come on. Oh. I'm 
searching for ideas. I don't like it. Hello, it's just me, Big Eddie. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about poetry. Poetry makes me very happy. Come on. Come on. I'm not going into the tunnel without some protection. It's not going to be scary. It's fine. I'm not scared. I know. You have to be very brave. I saw, I saw a bat. Arr. Was that a wolf? No. Maybe it was my muse. Because muse. Yeah. Oh. Um. Well, I think it's time to show you something else. This way. Ride him, cowboy. Here's another poem from Roller Coaster. It's called I Cannot Compare Thee. I cannot compare thee to a summer's day, dare not even compare thee to mist. If I compared thee to a rice pudding, perhaps you click and then soon get the gist. I cannot compare thee to flowers or clouds or rivers or dancing or soup. Your appearance is more like a hedgehog or a singer from a naff 80s group. If I will compare thee, I must speak the truth. Cold-hearted compare, seeming distant, aloof. I compare thee to boredom or some drab afternoon, a fierce hacking cough or deflated balloon, to apocalypse now or fast itching rash, but I could change my mind for a nice pile of cash. Yes, I work for the press, I can say what I wish. We are both as corrupt as a festering fish. So should I compare thee to anything good, to Beethoven or Hayden or Liszt? Leave two grand in the usual place. I'll say nothing. You'll soon get my gist. Well, that's what we've got time for. So there will be more episodes coming very soon. But, uh, well, goodbye for now. Welcome to another episode of Show Yeti on Location. A Yeti in a hat is quite a dapper sight to see, for a head is quite a useful place to store a pot of tea. If you spend enough time with me, I'll soon convince you black is white. Don't just hang around, there's other things to see elsewhere. Go on, run along. I think you're going to find this next bit really interesting. If I'm wrong, well just don't make me wrong. Oh, and don't forget, thank you to Dominic McCauley for doing all of the filming. Thank you Dominic!
Um. 